In this video, we'll be solving a question from Harvard MIT Math Tournament. The question is to evaluate the sum of these two third rules. First, let's put down the formula that we are going to use. That is, a plus b to the third, then equals a to the third plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared, then plus b to the third. So now let's get started with our question. So the question is to evaluate the sum of these two third roots. So now let's see the th first third root. Let's just uh, here just a 2 plus square root of 5. This is the second one. Here, 2 minus square root of 5. So this is the quantity we try to evaluate. So the first raise the power of 3. Then apply this formula. So now let's see. First, the first term to the power 3. Then here. Then raise to the power of 3. Then 3 times the first one squared. Then times the second term. So now let's see the third term. Okay, so the next one just 3 plus the first third root. Then the second one. Then the second one squared. Then the last term. So then the second one to the power 3. So here, just third root of 2 minus square root of 5, the whole thing to the power of 3. So now let's simplify one by one. Okay, so the first one, the power 3, third root cancelled, just 2 plus square root of 5. The second one, the second one here, so we have a square, but I only keep one here. So take one combine with this one and put it under the same root. So then here, we just put them under the same root. So here just the third root. So then two squared minus square root five squared. Okay, so now let's see this term. Then here, 3, we're going to do the same thing. So take one third root combined with this one. So then under this third root, we have 2 squared. So here, so 2 squared minus square root 5 squared. Okay, so then we still have a third root here. So then this one just third root 2 minus square root 5. Okay, so then here just 2 minus square root 5, the last term. 2 minus square root 5. So next, let's simplify. Okay, first, so this part and this part combined together. They're just four. Okay, so now let's see the next one. So next one, three, then here, third root, two plus square root five. Then here, the inside simplified, that's just negative one. So now let's see this one. Here, three, Inside just negative one. Then this one. So now let's continue simplify. Okay, so here third root of negative one just negative. Then here third root two plus square root of five. 
Same thing here, third of the negative one, just negative. So then the second third root continue simplify. So they have common factor negative three. So take out the take out the negative three. So then here we have this is a first third root. Then here plus the second third root. So here's a minus. Okay, so now let's see what we are having so far. You see this one? So we start from the, this is a quantity we try to evaluate. So then the quantity to the power three, so then go here. Then equals four minus three times the quantity. Okay, so now let's write down the result we are having so far. So that means we got here. So that is the quantity third root two plus square root of five. Then here, the third root two minus square root of five to the power of three. Then equals this part. So now let's move these two terms to the left hand side. Okay, so then just this minus, then here's a plus. Then plus three times same quantity. Then just this is the first third root. Then here's the second third root. Then move four to the other side. Then just minus four then equals zero. Then what that means? So that means you see the quantity we try to evaluate. The quantity to the power three plus three times the quantity minus four equals zero. So this one means, so this quantity, okay, let's write down this quantity. So the sum of the two third roots So it's a real, this one is a real number. It's a real solution of the following equation. Of the following equation. So now let's see what's the equation. You see here, consider this is x to the power 3 plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. So that's why here just the equation is x to the third, then plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, again, so this equation coming from here. Okay, so now let's solve this equation. So then how to solve this equation? So we can do the factoring or do the long division. Because if you try one or negative one is a solution or not. So it turns out one is a solution. So then we use x minus 1 so to do the long division. So then here we have x plus 3, x to the third plus 3x minus 4 equals minus 4, then equals x minus 1, then here x squared plus x plus 4, then equals 0. Now let's solve this equation. So first, let's, this, part, let, this part equals 0. Okay, so let x squared plus x plus 4 equals 0. But this one, has no real solution. It has two complex solutions. So no real solution. So now let this one equals zero. Okay, so now let the x minus one equals zero. So then we have x equals one is the only real solution. Is the only real solution. So this is the important part. Why? Because x minus 1 is the only real solution. But here we got the quantity we try to evaluate is the real solution of this equation. So that means this quantity must equals 1. So that's why here we have the conclusion. So the sum of two third roots is the first third root 
plus the second third root mass equals one. So that's why one is the answer of this question.